Okay, so next up, we're about to bring down the big dead tree. Um, for this particular job, because we're gonna be up high and nearby some of the branches, I've actually thrown a, a, a jacket on for a bit of extra protection. I'm gonna be wearing the uh, hard hat and obviously the obvious eye protection and um, ear protection as well. So um, we've got the cherry picker all set up, leveled, ready to go. We've also got the necessary harness for the cherry picker. Um, we're gonna use the small 12 inch chainsaw to bring down um, the branches. Essentially what we're gonna do is, as the cherry picker moves up the tree, we're gonna take off some of those small branches that are kind of in the way. Then we get to sort of the, the highest height of the cherry picker, take off some of those major branches and make our way back down the, the larger trunk. So an extra little tip, obviously we're gonna be up in the cage right up high. We just wanna do a double check, make sure that the chainsaw is running fine. We'll do a test fire on the ground here before we get in the cage and get up off the ground. Okay, obviously first thing we do once we're in the cage, hook up our harness. And away we go. We put the chainsaw away for a minute. We've actually got the pole pruner out. Essentially the pole pruner, when we get back up in the, in the basket, we can extend the cutting blade out away from us as far as possible. So we can um, cut some smaller branches down to lessen the uh, impact of the debris falling on the ground and obviously just to extend our reach, um, make it a bit more easy to get to some of these smaller branches from the one cage here. Okay, so we've got our big trunk on the ground. So the next step is we're gonna prepare our um, big thick log here. We're gonna slice it up and get it ready for the log splitter. So the trick is to make the cuts as square to the length of the trunk as possible. Obviously, when we stand it up in the log splitter, we need it standing straight up as vertical as possible. So keep the cuts nice and square. And the trick is to actually, as you cut down, cut down about 75, 80% from the top. We're gonna to do two or three in a row. Then you actually roll the log over and we'll just do the final bit from the top. Obviously keeping the blade nice and level, nice and horizontal. Um, the last thing you want is the uh, end of the chainsaw actually going into the dirt and blunting up the chainsaw that way. So away we go. Okay, so we've done the cuts from the top. We're just gonna roll the log over and do those last finishing touches. So there you go, the logs cut nice and square. They're gonna sit nice and vertical for our log splitter. The next step, we're gonna take our um, sections of tree stump and we're gonna split them up so we can use in our fire a little, little bit later on. So we've got a log splitter here from Kennard's Hire. Um, it's a hydraulic powered blade, petrol powered running the hydraulics. And um, an added feature for um, the log splitter is this uh, gate will actually help us lift our sections of log. This particular tree, isn't that big and it's these sections are quite easily to handle if you've got a tree that is a whole lot bigger your sections are going to be a whole lot heavier and as you can imagine if you're cutting up firewood for, for the whole season for next year um, it's going to take you all day and lifting those lifting those um, sections of tree are going to wear you out real quick so um, that's one of the fantastic features of these log splitters so we're about to um, put the safety gear on fire up the motor and get into it First split, cut the log into two, and then um, instead of you having to um, swing the axe for the forever and a day later, you can actually um, just position the uh, half sections of log. You can probably take split these into three, maybe even four sections, so the, the size of the logs are exactly ready to go for your fire.
Okay, so um, when you've got your tree removal project, um, a quick phone call to the staff at the Kennards Hire Branch. They're more than happy to help explain your situation. They'll be able to assist you with exactly the equipment you need and um, the, the size of the equipment you need for your particular job. And um, they're here to help you get your lumberjack on. For more information, check out the website or give us a call. Just remember, when using the equipment, Kennards Hire recommends the use of safety products at all times. Be sure to use the personal protective clothing and equipment for each product hired, which are available at every branch. Let's make a job.